Hello and welcome to this special edition of the Weekly Law Report. The 2012 Lawyers Weekly Australian Law Awards were held last Friday at the Sofitel Hotel in Melbourne. Lawyers, barristers, practice managers and legal recruiters turned up for a night of good food and good company to recognise individual excellence in the legal profession. MC James O'Loughlin was his usual lively and cheeky self. By the way, if any, uh, if any companies merge during the course of the evening, do let me know because I want to get, particularly if you change your name, I want to get the names right uh, when I read out the nominees. So I know mergers are happening very quickly. If you, know, you do do a bit of networking and go, yeah, let's do it, just make sure you let me know. But it was Michael Kirby who stole the spotlight with an impromptu performance on the keyboard. I'm a companion of the Order of Australia. In 2010, he became the first Australian to be awarded the prestigious Gruber Justice Prize. And has been awarded... Sharp as attack, Kirby announced the Lifetime Achievement Award, which is named in his honour. Picking just one career highlight for Elizabeth Everett would be an impossible task. In 1951, she became the youngest ever law student at Sydney University. She then won a scholarship to study at Harvard and went on to work as a barrister in London. In 1973, she returned to Australia to take up the Deputy Presidency of the Conciliation and Arbitration Commission. And I appeared before her as a young barrister. She was hard as nails. <laughs> but she was a wonderful, uh, empathetic judge. Fair, just, disciplined, serious. Which is what we expect. In accepting the award, be. Evett said it still remained a matter of regret to her that not all the human rights principles that Australia has signed up to internationally can be enforced judicially in our courts. The Senior Associate Award this year went to Stephanie Allen from Freehills, who was recognised for her professionalism in handling complex MA matters. Andrew Price took home this year's Practice Manager Award for his efforts in upping both the revenue and pro bono activities of insurance firm Watton and Carney. Our Law Student of the Year Award went to Sean Lau, who has been snapped up by King and Wood Mallisons. The Young Gun of the Year Award went to Middleton's workplace lawyer, AJ Cantar, who has made significant contributions to the New South Wales Young Lawyers. The most emotional part of the evening was when Mari Jepson accepted the inaugural Advocate Award. Mari, the co-founder and director of the Tristan Jepson Memorial Foundation, made a touching speech that implored the profession to work harder to look after its own. In response to Tristan's oft-asked question, why must it be done this way, I look forward to being able to say it doesn't. We can do things differently. As a volunteer chair. Mari and her husband George co-founded TJMF in honour of their son Tristan, a young lawyer who took his own life in 2004 after fighting clinical depression. The Public Service Award, which recognises the massive contribution of government lawyers to the legal profession, was taken home by Sue Bird, the Chief Counsel of the Australian Government Department of Human Services. Competition was fierce for the Pro Bono Award, which was taken out by Luke Geary. Donald Chen accepted the award on behalf of Geary, who made history in 2010 when he established the not-for-profit commercial law firm Salvo's Legal. Foxtel's Chief General Counsel, Lynette Island, took home the Corporate Counsel Award for her work leading Foxtel's $1.8 billion acquisition of Ozstar. Anne Reeves, the HR General Manager at Morris Blackburn, won the Talent Manager Award. Long-standing Freehills CEO and Managing Partner Gavin Bell took out this year's Managing Partner Award. Freehills Rebecca Maslin Stanage took home the Dealmaker of the Year Award for her tireless work on what has been described the deal of the century, the Centro Properties Group restructuring. Look at it. 
I guess the great thing about that deal was it was a really good outcome in difficult circumstances for the whole Centro team and it just meant so much to pull that off for a bunch of great people. So while I've got the award, it's really the fact that we were able to pull through and get a positive outcome, that was the plus. The night concluded with a raffle and the chance to network among colleagues and friends of the legal industry. For full coverage of each award, head to our website and you can look forward to the top stories in Australian law and business in next week's video report. I'm Stephanie Quine, thanks for watching.